Hi, Elke. How you doing? This is absolutely gorgeous. I just love your branding suite. I think it's so creative, Elke, and it's just so professional. Um, well, it's so well executed. It's a pro on a professional level for sure. And it's wow, wow. Let's go through it. This is fun. All right. Hey, you know it would be awesome if hey, you take this opening page. It's so cool, and you could maybe go in there in Photoshop, select each one of those, and let's CMYK those instead of these primary colors, indicating more that you're a uh, a, a a print um, designer. Okay, I, I think that would be an interesting touch. Try it. Tell me what you think about that idea. Let's move along. Business card roughs, awesome stuff. Love it. Love the idea. Love the idea. I, you know, I'm not really even sure if you need the, the cutout of the business card. I, I don't think you do. I think just this, what you have here on the legs, is so, it's, I mean, everything else is filled in. That's what the beauty of it is, that it, the minimalism, you don't have to shove it down their throat. And they, and we get it. We totally get it. And it's cute. But here, it's almost, with the cutout, it's almost getting to be a little bit forced. So I'm for this business card as opposed to the cutout. Moving right along. Love the idea of the legs. <laughs> it's so awesome. Um, good mock-up. Good mock-up. Logo is phenomenal. Okay, the, this is where I get funny. I get funny right here with with the the letterhead. And I'm going to tell you why. It's forced. It's totally forced, okay? The legs were cute on the... Um, and a, and a business card, but let's let leave it at that. Don't overdo it. Don't force it. It's, this is forced. Um, let's leave the legs where they belong. Let's let's more take this and associate it up there with your logo. All right, maybe even that way if you want to center it, because it's so beautiful that it can carry a center alignment. It definitely can. And then I would just take your get rid of the wave contact information on the bottom of the page, and that is it, Elky. I'm telling you what, that logo right there, up and centered, or to the, to the up and, and left. Information down there, minimally gorgeous, beautiful color palette, very versatile. Co the, corner, the corner pages are something that I typically highly recommend you don't do, unless you know what you're doing, and you know what you're doing because they very, very beautifully mimic the curvature of the, the logo. So, so really, really good job there. Love it. Love the everything about this. Let's get to the magazine. One of the things in a magazine is that we wouldn't, we wouldn't use a, an image like this in, in a magazine. We would crop this closer and we would try to get your, your headlines right somewhere in the same level as your eye, but your head is going to have to be a little bit bigger in the composition. Then we would start assembling headlines at the eye, at your eye level as you sit in the composition. Okay. I think you're a little bit light. I'd like to see one or two more headlines down here, as I'm sure an employer would too. Let's m keep moving along. This is great. Now, this is where it really starts getting your personal touch, and I love it. Let's let's move along. Um, uh, resume looks great. It's going to look even better on your new uh, letterhead, it, should you decide to go that direction. I'm not saying you have to, Elke. It's your decision. You're, you're doing a wonderful job. So... If, if you don't like my suggestions, by all means, it's not going to affect you at all. Not one bit. This is gorgeous. Um, print advertisements. Uh, let's try to get a little more solid use of a grid in here. Um, do what you have to do, but just let's get some grid. Right now, these four different shapes are kind of causing an unusual visual tension. Um, this looks good, but my only thing is that you've got, uh, let's go ahead and get this type up here let's set that it's right now it's set it's justified so you're getting these really wide gaps in between your words i've got some settings for you if you don't if you need help to get rid of those spaces in your justified um, type settings let me know i can i can pass those right along to you um, everything else is looking great uh why my i'm just wondering though why box things in do we need these boxes why do we have to box everything in? I mean, it's they're in jail. Let them play with the page. Let them breathe. No sense of boxing this stuff all in. I'm safer. I like to say, to, let's take that frame out. Um, again, same, same um, strange spaces between your words and your justified type. That looks awesome. 
again, boxing it in. Don't need to frame that in. Let that stuff breathe with the page. It'll 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 create a, a better, uh, a more effective relationship with the page. Again, grid that out. Try to grid that out. You might have to crop. You might have to add a closer up, close up of your typography. But either way, you, you got to get that gridded out. It'll be much more comfortable. Um, this is really interesting. It's a, it's a wonderful little thank you uh, for looking. It's got your touch on it. The legs are a continuation of the, the bird legs. Just good stuff. Really good stuff. I'm super pleased. If you have any questions or any comments at all, please let me know. Great job. Thanks, Elke.